Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a rear differential fluid change on a 2020 Nissan Titan Pro 4X. So first I'll show you what you need and then we'll get underneath the truck. Like a, it's a pretty basic job here. What you'll need is 4 and 7 eighths pints of GL575W. Nissan sells you the Mopar. They say that's compatible for warranty purposes. And you're going to need a, a pump. So I'm showing you right there. You're gonna have to pump the fluid in. You can't pour it in, or you, you can, but you might make a mess. And then you're gonna need a 3 8 inch drive. Basically just a ratchet. I have a 3 8 inch, a half inch converted to a 3 8 inch because the half inch is just a little bigger, so it gives you a little more torque. Uh, I have the breaker bar here, but I already know we don't need it. But anyways, what you need is a 3 8 inch drive like that because the plug, both the drain plug and the filler plug are 3 8 inch drive. You're gonna need yourself a drain catch pan like that. And I got gloves on. And you're gonna need some rags, okay? So first off with any job like this, you wanna make sure that that drain plug, so that's the drain plug right there underneath the rear diff. That's the drain plug, the 3 8 inch drive. And that is gonna be the filler plug right there. So, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that this filler plug is, is able to be loosened because you never wanna drain your fluid first and then find out that that's a problem. So, that's where this comes in. 3 8 inch drive fits right in that hole, just like that. Okay, and then you just turn it, comes loose. All right, it's actually not tight at all, not much torque in there. I don't know what the exact torque is. And I take that out now. No big deal, just set that to the side. And then what you're gonna do is loosen that drain plug up. Same tool. Okay, so you just put that on the drain plug like that. Loosen it up. And it comes loose very easily, okay? Get your drip pan ready to go. Okay, I went and got a different drain pan. That other one was too high. I couldn't get my hand underneath the drain plug there, so. Now all I did was once I got the drain plug loose, I took that adapter off and put it in my hand because now you can get up in there and just loosen it by hand as you can see I'm doing. And even when it gets real loose, now I put the adapter down so I don't drop the plug inside the drip pan there. And we should get four and seven eighths pints, which is two quarts and seven eighths of another quart. Okay, and try and keep the plug in your hand if you can, so you don't have to fish it out of the oil. And there we go. Okay, so that took about maybe a minute and a half of that to drain out. And then I just went back to this method again. I put this in here and I tightened it up with my hand. And then what you do is you... Put that adapter back on your half inch drive. Tighten up that, that plug. No over tightening, just once it's tight, give it a little tug and that's enough right there, okay? All right, and what I figured out was that we don't need that pump. I cut the tops off those spouts and we're just going to do it this way because actually if you've never used one of those pumps they take a long time and this is high enough off the ground where you have enough clearance to stick the the bottle up there you just got to cut that top off just a little bit and you might get a little spillage like i did but it's not too bad 
it's just a lot faster if you don't mind the first initial pouring of it some of it came out onto the the actual rear diff itself and you just stick this in there real quick like that give it a squeeze and the way you know when this rear di there's no dipstick on it the way you know it's going to be full is when fluid starts to come out of the drain plug there so one of these one of these quarts is two pints and that's just about two pints right there Believe me, that's a lot faster than using the pump. If you want to use the pump, go ahead. That first quart is almost done. And I kept the drain plug, the drain pan underneath there because there's just a little bit. That's not showing it's full, it's just that it's, it's just a little bit of a weird angle. Pumping it into the, the actual filler plug there. Okay, so really the tip here is, tip I'm going to give you is I use this funnel. <clears throat> and as you can see, I kind of got it wedged up in the, against the spare tire here. And all you do is go nice and slow and pour into the hair. Don't go too fast, okay? And then when you know it's full, you can see right here, it's just starting to seep out of the filler hole right there. That's when you know it's full. That's the only way to really do it. Okay. Yeah, you're going to make a little bit of a mess. Let's just have some rags around. It's just the way it goes. Okay. Then you take this out and get, if you get one of these long neck funnels, you can actually bend it a little bit. Um, but I, that's your choice to either do that or use the, the pump that I showed you earlier in the video. I just think the pump takes a long time and, uh, it still makes a mess too. So take this out and then you put the drain plug back in, or the filler plug back in. Okay, so here's a better view of what's going on. That's when you know it's full. You see how it's just kind of seeping out of the filler plug there? Right here? That's when you know it's, it's full. Sorry about the shadows there right there okay while it's just dripping out you take your drain plug your filler plug sorry about that and you just screw it back in if you want to wait just to be super clean you can wait another 30 seconds but it's gonna once you put the drain the filler plug back in it's all gonna stop and then just to give it a good good tightening on there for you. Snug it up. Don't go too tight. You don't want to strip it. Once you feel it's tight, go a little bit more and you're done. Clean up your mess and that's it. And I, mine took, it feels like it took the, the full two quarts plus a good half if not more of that other one again it takes four and seven eighth pints which is two quarts and seven eighths of another one okay hope that was helpful